Welcome back, everyone, to the Brian Crombie Radio Hour on Saga 960. So we just chatted with Ron Duquette, who is the president um, of the Mississauga Arts Council, uh, the founder of Legends Row, uh, and uh, <clears throat> head of the board of Legends Row, talking about uh, Legends Row inductees for this year and the history of Legends Row over time. Um, excuse me. I just uh, wanted to finish by saying a few words about, I think, the importance of, uh, of recognition uh, and of the arts uh, in a community. I really do think that the arts is the heartbeat of, of a community. And uh, I think that Ron Duquette, um, um, Legends Row, the Mississauga Arts Council, uh, and several of the other organizations uh, uh, that are either um, oriented to f uh, putting on festivals um, or uh, or uh, some of the, you know, the, the incredible other music that goes on, <clears throat> excuse me, in the city of Mississauga, really do a special thing uh, for our community. Not enough people go out and experience it. You know, our Mississauga Symphony is excellent. Uh, um, we've got incredible pops. Some of the dance groups are spectacular. The festivals that take place at Celebration Square um, really are quite uh, quite, quite great uh, and often um, from a different ethnic group and so therefore give you a, uh, an opportunity to be exposed to and enjoy uh, dance, music, uh, et cetera, from a different culture. I think celebration is important. I think that we've got to celebrate together. And when we celebrate uh, together, we um, we say something about, you know, who we are, what we are as a community. Uh, we, uh, we, we end up appreciating each other and appreciating each other's cultures and, uh, and contributions to our community. And I think it's important that a community get together and celebrate, just like it's important that a family gets together for important occasions and celebrates. And I think when we don't do that enough, um, uh, we uh, we end up harming um, the community that we could create. I interviewed when I was president of Mississauga Arts Council um, some interesting people that uh, were child psychologists in uh, in in both Canada and in the UK in regards to the role that the arts plays. And one of the child psychologists I interviewed from um, the UK said a really interesting thing. Uh, they said that arts, particularly music, uh, in this case, speaks for someone when words fail them. And I've heard that from, you know, people that are into the visual arts as well. My mom uh, used to tell me that, uh, you know, to really experience music, you've got to uh, experience it in a couple of different ways. You know, one participating by watching it, uh, another by closing your eyes and listening, uh, lying down on the floor and just listening to it. She also, my mother was uh, a docent uh, in the National Gallery of Art and the Art Gallery of Ontario at different times. Uh, she was a art history major. And uh, and she would also say the same thing about uh, paintings, which she, you know, was part of what she did all the time, uh, go and tour people through uh, galleries. And she did uh, these uh, uh, sessions where she would take art into schools. And she would say, you got to look at it from close up. You got to look at it from far away. Uh, you got to look sort of as your eyes sort of follow it across, look for colors, look for textures, look for movement, even though it's, you know, a two dimensional still uh, picture. And that's how you experience and, uh, and assess and enjoy uh, paintings, art. I've been uh, forced to listen to some of this uh, Taylor Swift uh, um, Tortured Poet Society uh, album of late. And the lyrics, you know, she's got some criticism of people that don't appreciate her music, I guess, even though it seems like the vast majority of the earth do. But the lyrics, the songwriting really is incredible. She really truly is a, a poet. Um, and the, the lyrics tell a story. And so much of our music doesn't tell a story. And that comes back to that uh, movie a couple of years ago with Bradley Cooper and uh, Lady Gaga, um, where the line from the old rocker was that you got to have a message to have art, music that resonates with people. And I think that's part of what Ron Duquette is doing by celebrating these people. Those are people that in their art had a message. Um, the Mr. Arts Council is trying to promote people that have a message. Um, and I think that there's a real secret in that. And so I just wanted to, to end today by thanking Ron Duquette, um, the Mr. Arts Council, uh, Legends Row, for, for celebrating 
our local heroes, our local musicians, our local artists, uh, sports people and, and journalists that have uh, gone afar and uh, been a success and still remember their time in Mississauga and have coming back uh, to be recognized. The fact that they're putting on this celebration uh, for the community that I think brings us all together to, uh, to recognize people and uh, exhibit it for posterity in the future. But also this encouragement of people to be artistic and to have a message. That's my show for tonight, everybody. Thank you for joining. Uh, I remind you, I'm on every Monday through Friday at 6 o'clock on 960 AM. You can stream me online at www.saga960am.ca. All my podcasts and videos go up on my website, briancrombie.com and social media, uh, on uh, YouTube, on pad podcast servers as soon as the radio show goes to air. Have a great weekend, everyone. And maybe go and listen to, watch, appreciate some local art. Good night, everybody.